You can always tell when Donald Trump has a trial coming up because he starts frantically posting on Truth Social, and this week is no exception. On Sunday evening, early into Monday morning, Donald Trump went on a bender where he just posted nonstop frantically into the 1 a.m., 2 a.m. hours on Truth Social. And if we look at the court schedule for this week, Donald Trump does in fact have oral arguments coming up in front of the Supreme Court on Thursday to determine whether or not he can be kicked off the ballots using the 14th amendment. That's a big one. Then again, oral arguments are coming up on Thursday. We do not expect an opinion uh, within even a few days of that. So this is just the arguments. We'll wait for a decision after. But in Donald Trump's frantic posts that clearly show his anxiety over the matter. Here's what he had to say. Remember all of those trials and all of that litigation you constantly read and hear about federal, state, and local criminal and civil is brought to you by crooked Joe Biden and his thugs at the DOJ in order to interfere with the presidential election of 2024. This has never happened so blatantly in the USA before, only in third world countries. Watch for it. The radical left Democrats, new way of cheating. They are destroying our country, but we will win and make America great again. Um, stuff you see in third world countries, like a wannabe dictator having his supporters storm the building where they're voting on a new leader. I mean, that's kind of third world country ish, but you, you have nothing to say about that. Not to mention president Biden, uh, is not involved in any of the prosecutions against you state local, federal, none. And you're the, even the civil trials, like that's not even possible. He is saying things that defy reality itself. Unless president Biden was suing Donald Trump, like over an auto accident or something, Biden would not be involved in any of these civil suits. He can't be like, that's not even, I, I can't even address it properly because it's such an outrageously stupid claim that it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And of course, plenty of the cases that Donald Trump is facing, the Georgia one, uh, the New York criminal trial and the New York civil trial, uh, that's out of the jurisdiction of the federal government to begin with. Like there, there's no DOJ or Biden involvement in any of that because obviously they don't have control over those investigations. And the one you're freaking out about, of course, the 14th amendment challenges, uh, those were brought by Republicans. It's important to remember that it was Republican voters, Republican activists, angry conservatives who brought these challenges against Donald Trump to kick him off the ballot in the States where it was actually successful, Colorado and Maine. So your anger is directed at the wrong guy but I get it because you're not actually trying to blame Biden for your problems. You're trying to convince your base that Biden is responsible for all of your problems, right? It's not because of your behavior. It's not because you're a horrible businessman or a horrible human being, or you were a horrible president. No, no, no. It's because Biden is doing all of this, right? The senile old guy that Republicans love to say is just too dementia riddled in his brain to be able to serve as president. He is somehow the same person that is the mastermind of all of these legal problems for Donald Trump. And I do love that by the way, because you never know, according to conservatives, like which Biden you're going to get that day. Is it going to be sleepy Joe or is it going to be criminal mastermind Biden? Because they both exist in the brains of conservatives. Um, but that's not all Trump had to say, you know, it wasn't just all about his legal problems. He took a minute to, uh, go after Bud Light. <laughs> he's, <laughs> I don't even know why. Like he's so mad, like all oh, these legal problems and friggin' Bud Light over here. Here's what he said about Bud Light. The Bud Light ad will go down as the worst ad in history in a matter of minutes, 30 billion dollars worth of market cap simply disappeared from the face of the earth. Like that didn't happen. Uh, will they ever get it back? Who knows? But what a mess. Yeah. You'd know about failing businesses, right bud? And then of course he did a plug for a Fox news anchor. He liked wonderful. Charles Payne has just written another great book, unbreakable investor. This will be his best yet an important read. Get your copy now. So you're a pitch man. You're an angry bud light drinker 
and you're mad about your actions leading to accountability. That ladies and gentlemen is the Republican front runner. And we can look forward to at least what, 10 more months of this, perhaps even more. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.